Hi folks, it's Sean McCormick again. And we did have an interesting look in the fact that people liked my short video from the last time. So here's another short video. This time it's about making your own profiles to use for the profile browser. So these are loca located here. And um, this is the default one. So this was shot with this. And um, it's done from a reset. It now reads whatever you had in camera. And then the existing profiles that you get and make are kind of in here. So like there's one I've made, like a CPU one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to show this very quickly. We're not going to overdo it um, because the basics of it are kind of there. So let's say we have something where we've already kind of done a bit of, let's say, texture work, the vibrance and clarity. So let's just get this to a, a point. You know, I'm not overly worried about this, right? Okay, I mean, this is over the top. Okay, so um, maybe put up the contrast as well and maybe put a little bit more sharpening. This was already sharpened kind of a little bit more okay all right so there is what we're going to do so now what we're going to do is we're going to save this command s which will write it as metadata for the file okay and now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and show this so i've just done command or there to show it in finder and um, so i'm just going to pull that across here that's actually um, gone to a different screen so i'm going to, have to pull it across onto the screen here let me just minimize that for a second so we can see that this is here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click and open this in Photoshop because you can't do this inside Lightroom. You have to do it inside Photoshop. OK, folks, so we've now opened up Camera Raw, which is what we wanted. And Camera Raw has all of our settings applied here. So we're going to go to the presets, uh, which are here. And so there's, there's this new preset, but we're not going to create a preset. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the Alt the Option. OK. And then we click on this. And this will bring up the new profile browser, not new presets. So you have to hold down that command or option. And then you can have the stuff that's been basically used inside it. So we've only used a few bits. So uh, treatment is always included. Um, so we're going to call this Boomtastic. Yeah. I'm writing over my microphone, trying to look over it. Yep, so just that's the default. We don't have any LUTs or anything like that. And you can include LUTs as well and um, lookup tables. Um, so we click OK. Right, and that is now saved. So I'm just going to click Done there. Right, and now what we're going to do here is we're just going to do a very quick restart. And I'm using a script from the Photo Geek to do a quick restart. So now we are restarted. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just click reset here. So that will bring it back to the way it was. And now if we click browse and we go down to the bottom here inside user profiles um, we have. Um, well, these are other ones that I've done before, which weren't loaded, but we have Boomtastic that we just created. OK, so now if I come over here to do a kind of a before and an after, right? see where I got uh, reset settings. So if I actually do um, create that oh sorry it's the one before that i need uh okay did that work oh yeah and then what i want to do is i want to be on the boomtastic and then if we do a y and um, they should look identical pretty much because of the fact that we now have the um so the settings and the profile uh will be exactly the same because we're based on them basically so the idea is that you have this, so I'm going to press Y here for a second. The other thing is because you created this profile the way you created it, you have a slider on it, okay? So you're able to turn it off or you're able to kind of double it, basically. Okay, so that is how you make your own profile inside of Lightroom. Well, inside of Photoshop for Lightroom. And now, of course, that that's applied, if we take close, we come back out here, we can see that there are no settings there, even though it looks the same. So it effectively has everything as a zero. So even though we have like highlights and shadows and things like that applied, it appears like we've nothing applied because they're built into the profile. So, folks, thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. Um, do give it a like and a subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Please support the channel. And, folks, if you do like the channel and want to support it, please go back and watch some of my older videos to get my watch time up. Thanks a million.